Hey everyone, in today's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make professional looking quiz videos using Canva. This is a great opportunity to get more followers and make more money, and that is by simply creating simple quiz videos on social media platforms like YouTube Shorts, Facebook Reels, and TikToks. People love these types of videos and they get great engagement. Now, I personally use Canva, a free online graphic design tool. I upgraded from the free version to the pro version because it's just better with more templates and features. I have a 30 day free trial link below in the description if you're interested, and you can always cancel before the end of the 30 day free trial if you're not interested. With that said, let's jump straight into it. First, I'm gonna go to the Canva homepage. Go to the search box and type in quiz. Then you are gonna see a page that looks just like this. As you can see, Canva Pro gives you so many different types of templates that you can use. I'm gonna select a simple template and I'll show you guys how to enhance it to make it look more professional. First off, notice there are two different sizes of these templates. If you're doing something like Instagram stories, you wanna pick the one that is a little bit more square shaped. But if you're doing something like Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts, or TikToks, then you wanna pick the one that looks more like a rectangle or the shape of a mobile phone. So after you select a template, some templates, you'll see this little clock or timer at the top of it right here, which means it's already a video template which will allow us to easily edit the video. For example, if I select this template here, notice how there is a little clock on the top left. If you click on the clock, you can basically determine how long you want this reel to be. Other templates that you see may not show that little clock and you just see the animate button. Don't worry, I'll show you what to do later to trigger the video function. For now, just follow my simple example. All right, after you select your template, simply change the question and text to the quiz you want to run. We will make it more professional looking later, so don't worry. But first, let's say I wanna make a quiz about BTS, the famous Korean boy band. Okay, don't laugh at my quiz. Remember, this is just an example. Let's make a question. Which member of BTS speaks the best English? And now let's make the options. Number one, RM. Number two, J-Hope. Number three, Suga. Number four, V. Now that we have the text figured out, let's add a background that is more appropriate for this quiz. I'm gonna find some stock image of BTS. I'm gonna go to Google Images, search up BTS and find an image that I like. So let me go do that right now. I'm gonna then download the file. Now I'm gonna to start to insert that into the background image of this quiz. So it captures a little bit more BTS themed to capture the attention of our potential viewer. Of course, make sure to resize the photo and you can also send the photo to the back or the front. Play around with it so it looks good. You can always change the color of the text and font as well to make it look more professional. So this is what I've come up with. All right, now that you're done, what we wanna do next is to add a countdown timer. So you're gonna to go to the Elements tab in Canva and type in Timer Countdown. This is once again why I love the pro version of Canva because all these elements are included. Now I'm gonna select this 20 second timer over here and that's because I wanna leave 10 seconds for the answer reveal and the fun fact at the end. It just makes the quiz much more engaging. So simply type in 20 second clock on Canva. Now, notice that if you selected a template before and you didn't see that little clock timer, then after you add the timer, you will see that little clock and then that's when you can change it to 30 seconds for the length of your reel. All right, let's do some basic video editing. So after I insert the 20 second timer, place it on the reel in a good place so it looks professional. So what I wanna happen is the viewer to see the question and the countdown timer for the first 20 seconds. And then in the last 10 seconds, we're gonna do an answer reveal and fun fact. Five to seven seconds is usually about the time it takes for people to read the question and the potential choices. And then they have about 15 seconds to think about the answer. So you want them to know that the answer is coming soon so they're not waiting on your Facebook Reel or TikTok or YouTube Short for no reason. That's why at 20 seconds, once the timer's expired, what I wanna do is to switch to another page with the exact same question and answers. But I want the viewer to know what the correct answer is. So what I wanna do is go to that little icon that says page and then I'm gonna add a page. Now copy and paste the page color and all the elements from the first page. So the second page is an exact duplicate of the first page. It's up to you if you wanna use a different background or different colors, but for simplicity purposes, I'll just use the same style. Now don't copy the countdown timer element over into your second page as you won't need it anymore. Something cool that I wanna do next is that I wanna show the correct answer using a green check mark and the incorrect answer using a red X. 
So what I want to do is put a red X around the wrong answers and a green check mark around the correct answer. Canva makes this simple. So go to elements and search up green check mark. Now add that element next to the correct answer. Now also go to element and search up red X and now put a red X next to all the wrong answers. In my particular quiz, RM or rap monster would be the one who knows English the most. So I'm going to put the green check mark there. Now the last step is to do a fun fact, create one final page. You can make whatever background you want. For this example, I will find a picture of RM from BTS and upload it to the background image. And now I will add a text box and just give everyone a fun fact. So the fun fact would be RM learned English watching friends growing up. Now you can play around with the colors and effects to make your text stand out and match the background, but that's pretty much it. Now the final step is to add some cool music. Good music is very important as it hooks the viewer to your TikTok or Facebook reel or YouTube short. Canva has tons of included stock music that you can use. However, if you want to make even more high quality professional reels in TikTok, I highly recommend a platform called Epidemic Sound. They just have a much more wide selection of music and sound effects and you have a much better chance at helping your reel go viral because the music is just more catchy and fun. If you're really serious about creating viral reels, high quality sound is a must and I highly, highly recommend Epidemic Sound. I do have a link below in the description if you want to check out a 30 day free subscription to Epidemic Sound. Now, although I personally use Epidemic Sound for my TikToks and Reels, for this example, I will stick with Canva's included background music. So click on the audio section of Canva. Now let's look up some catchy background music that you like. You can play around with a beat that you like. I'm just going to play around and here I found this beat that I like, so I'm going to select it. All you need to do is drag the sound file to your Canva page one. And now when you play the reel, it will play that music during the duration of your reel. All right, let's play the reel so far to show you guys what it looks and sounds like. Well, there you guys have it. You have your own super simple viral quiz that we created in less than 10 minutes using Canva. Once again, if you're brand new to Canva, it's just a, such a versatile online graphic design studio. And I use Canva Pro along with Epidemic Sound to create those viral quiz videos for TikTok and Facebook Reels. Yes, there's a little bit of a cost to both these programs, but you make it back and then some. And that's why I highly recommend both these programs as I use them myself. Once again, I have a free trial to both Canva and Epidemic Sound in the description below. And you can always cancel before the end of the trial period Period if you don't think it's right for you. Well, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you got value from this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe and I'll keep making great tutorial content for you guys. Thank you and take care.